Hello everyone, welcome to Imperfect Skin. My name is Judith and I'm here to help you to achieve the best skin you can possibly have with the proper skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of the upcoming video. Today, I'm gonna react to Megan Thee Stallion's Hot Girl Nighttime Skincare Routine. I, to be honest, I don't really know who she is. I just saw this on Harper's Bazaar last night, so I'm just decided that I'm gonna react to her skincare routine. So let's get right into her skincare routine. <coughs> What's up, it's Megan Stay. She's got so many energy right now, on already from the start. Are you ready to go to bed with me? Every night before bed, I have to wash off the 20 pounds of makeup that I have on all Wait, day. Wait, 20 brush. pounds of makeup? Who put so much boys. makeup on the uh, face? So yeah, I, I mean, I know I don't. All the hot girl stuff off. Okay. I use Cetaphil. Okay. Um, I have kind of sensitive skin too. Like anything will make me break out. Sometimes a lot of stuff mm. is like just super harsh for my skin. So this is like something that I've realized it's like the only thing I can use. And it's the only thing a lot of people can use. And I used to have acne bad, okay? And this really got me through my tough time. So I okay. definitely recommend this if you got oily skin and if you're having a bad breakout, this always just calms my face down. Okay, for Cetaphil itself, I personally used it before. I like that how it is considered quite gentle on my face and it does help to remove the makeup and it, it can effectively clean my face. But the only concern I have with this product is just that there is one particular ingredient that I would normally try to avoid in my cleanser which is the sodium laureth sulfate. So the reason I would try to avoid this is because it tend to be a bit more stripping for certain skin types. So is this a great product? I would think it's still good to use but it's just that personally uh, due to the ingredient Part and I have other options as well, so I just switch out of it. Oh, I lied, girl. I didn't even wipe the makeup off. Okay. Lie to y'all. This first. What? The Neutrogena makeup wipe. No. This is what get all the hot girls off your face. Like, it don't matter what I put on my face, this gonna take it off in like three swipes. Really? Oh, nice. I'm really not a fan of makeup wipes because first thing I think is waste and i think it's damaging the environment and i normally makeup whites is loaded with like uh, fragrance and i don't think the cleansing power of uh, makeup whites is really that great normally to remove makeup i would prefer to use a cleansing balm or maybe a cleansing oil just do a double cleanse i think that should do the job if let's say you really don't like cleansing balm or cleansing oil there, there is actually another option which is the micellar water uh, one of my favorite is actually the bioderma sensi bio micellar water if i think that's the name that's the the one with the red cap so that actually does the cleansing of the makeup really good i think it did better compared to makeup wipes and also it will help the environment as well rather than using makeup wipes and produce a lot of waste for the environment now you use the set of film. this is just like the icing on the cake this is how you start becoming your best self hey actually i think is it just me i think the way she looked before and after makeup is literally the same. Like, I wonder where is the makeup? Did, did she remove any makeup? Just doesn't show on camera. Now that you dry, boom, moisturizing cream. Okay. Because you don't want to be dry. You always want to keep it wet, moist. This is La Mer moisturizing cream. And you know, this is kind of bougie. Uh, okay. Kellen, actually, my hair. You know, I'm already like a sexy piece of chocolate. So <laughs> okay, all right. Feel like a smoother, sexy piece of chocolate. Ah. Okay, the Lamia moisturizing cream. I personally haven't tried it myself, so I'm gonna look through the ingredients now. I think this moisturizer has some. Yeah, it has some 
basic uh, moisturizing ingredients and uh, algae extract that that's the first ingredient that Lamia have been promoting for all their products almost mm. okay that's a lot of fragrance over here mm, there's geranial linalol limonene okay so i would say that like of course if you are not really particularly sensitive to fragrance like me i don't think this should this is like a huge issue to you but if you are someone with like sensitive skin maybe try to avoid this product since there is like so many fragrance and it has like limonene as well that's a pretty sensitizing fragrance i am scared to try that vampire facial thing i looked at somebody's story and they were getting a vampire facial and the girl just looked like she got in a car accident and i was like oh my <laughs> goodness what's wrong okay. what is this vampire song? facial okay i'm curious let's like let's have a look Ooh, wow okay all right that looks a bit scary hmm i don't think i'll dare to try it well yeah it does look pretty brutal to your skin okay i get your point here scared of that <laughs> and then i have a little bit of um hyperpigmentation okay and for me because i told y'all i used to have bad acne I put a little bio oil on my cheeks because it like gets okay. real dark in it. You can put it on anything because it gets rid of like scars in general. And then yeah, girl, brush your teeth. Bio oil, um, I personally don't really have a good experience with bio oil. I remember last time it, I think for now it's as well. They, they claim that the bio oil able to help to reduce the scar and uh, reduce the pigmentation and help with dehydrated skin. Well it's a very good claims but i remember last time when i tried to use it to reduce some of the pigmentation that i got from some of the spots that i had the last time i tried to use it for like i think about three months it it just didn't really work for me maybe it's just me hmm i'm not too sure and i remember that i look up of the ingredient list it's mineral oil and it is loaded with fragrance so since it is marketed towards dehydrated skin for reduced acne scar so i'm a bit concerned here because normally for acne skin it is already inflamed so with so much of a fragrance i'm not sure whether it is helping in the recovery of the acne or it is actually causing more problem to the acne personally i would really recommend this product well if you have tried this just leave a comment down below and let me know your experience on this i would like to know more i put this on and this is literally like the equivalent to vaseline <laughs> one time and then like you're good for like a week i'm not even joking for a basic skincare routine, go with a cleanser and a treatment that target your specific problem and at least follow up with a moisturizer. Our skin will naturally lose water to the environment, especially overnight. Since you've already done the skincare routine to wash your face and try to hydrate your face, you want to seal the moisture inside your skin. You don't want it to become dry in the next morning. So use the moisturizer. When my skin started clearing up, Hell no, I don't fall asleep with makeup on. Cause once you get to a good level with your skin, cause your skin want to fight you sometimes. So when you finally win the fight, you don't want to do nothing to get beat up again. So <laughs> my dermatologist definitely. I'm happy that. This. And first off, I'm actually happy that right now she just doesn't go to yay! bed with makeup. That actually will help your skin to recover, especially during nighttime. I'm just living life. Drinking dark liquor, eating sugar, um, not wiping my makeup off at night. And I went to the dermatologist and I'm like, what's wrong with my skin? She's like, girl, what's wrong with you? So I was like, well. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong yeah. with you? If you're going to go to bed with makeup, yeah, then don't complain if there is any problem that's going on with your skin since you're not taking care of it. Of course, your skin is not going to react well on it. I think that's all for the reaction today. So what do you think about Megan's skincare routine? If you have any comments, just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you. 
So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of the upcoming video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.